everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I had requests for Mr. Brown to be present, so I'm sure you can hear him peeping. You will see him in a minute. He's been busy. In fact, when I picked him up out of his cage, I says, Mr. Brown, you had to go and step in your poop. <laughs> so I had to wash my hands before and wipe his feet off because he was a little dirty. Well, today was a different kind of day. I was in the kitchen and I heard this terrible noise outside and I thought, what the heck is going on? So I went outside to see and here are four hens picking on another hen. And I thought, why are they picking on you? It was one of the younger hens. It was one of the ones that has a beard. I'm going to call her bearded lady because she is a lady and she does have a beard and she's got a tuff on the top. I think she was one of the Polish um, breeds, but she does. She has a beard and she's She's now in my house. I'm going to put a little video in so you can see. Today I went outside because I heard some somebody complaining or crying or squawking because they were being picked on. And this is who was being picked on. One of my girls that is not super cute, but she was being beat up. And the reason she was being beat up is her leg is hurt or something. She can't walk real good. So I put her in the playpen in the house. And she will stay here till she shows that she can walk again. Then I'll have to introduce her again to the other flock, which is always a challenge to put them back. But she will go back when she feels better. I looked her over after a little bit. And what it is is she has broken a toe. Well, hello. That phone is ringing. That's for me. Oh, it's Emily. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, Emily. What's up? But anyways, they were pecking at her, so I picked her up and brought her in the house. Come to find out, she has broken a toe. She is eating and drinking, and so, but she's still afraid of me, so whenever I go to pet her, she, she does kind of try to move away. But she will, she will have to be in the house for two to three weeks. That's how long it takes the bone to heal. And it could heal funny. It could heal fine. I don't know. It depends on how it was broken. I'm not, I'm not a doctor. so, And there are no doctors for birds around here. So she's just going to... And if I hadn't intervened, the chickens would have killed her. And I don't want her killed. So she's in the house in a playpen to recuperate. And so she's going to be maybe a friendly chicken in the end because she'll have a lot of people contact, which will be good in the end for me. I had the kids again today. I've had them now. This is the third day in a row. I don't think I mentioned it to you the other days, but I did have the kids. This is the third day. They did spend the night one night. I had four of them spend the night and two of them wanted to go home. They didn't want to spend the night. That was the two younger ones. They didn't stay. I watched a lot of videos today, and I crocheted, and I knitted, and I started the Little Blessing doll, and Karina Anna said, don't worry if it doesn't look right. Well, Karina Anna, I didn't like the way mine was turning out, so I ripped it out, and my husband goes, you're ripping out, and I go, yes, if I don't like it, why should I keep it? So I'm going to start it all over again. I was all the way up to leg two when I decided to rip it out. So it's going to start from fresh again, from brand new. And we'll, and I knitted on the um, headband that I'm making, a scarf, whichever you want to use it for. I'm going to use it for a headband, but it could be a scarf. Let's see what else. Oh, I only got one telemarketer call. And I was put on hold. Would you believe they call me and then they say, our, our lines are all busy. Could you hold? And they put you on hold. So I was on hold for maybe, I don't know, maybe a minute, if even that long. And when the guy gets there, I say, oh, you must be busy today because I was put on hold and he hangs up on me. <laughs> Gee whiz. He could have at least said something, but he didn't. And the phone call was for my uh, refund on electricity. <laughs> it's what the, re the 
phone call was supposed to be about. Well, let's get Mr. Brown up here. Mr. Brown, they can hear you. Come on, let's get up. Up, there's Mr. Brown. As you can see, whoa, he's, his balance is, he tries to balance on my arm. He's getting a lot more feathers up here on his shoulders, and he's actually starting to get a little bit of a tail feathers. Where are you going? He, oh, he goes up on my shoulder, and then he will peck at my earrings, is what he does a lot of times. Come on back down. Come on. Let's go back down. They don't want to see you do this, naughties. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is it. I hope you enjoyed seeing Mr. Brown. This is what he does. We went for a walk today, in the t and he, he sits in the towel, and he watches as we walk. And I stay away from the road because he's afraid of the road, aren't you? You're going to peck at me. Um, so that is it. I hope you had a great day too, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So take care. Bye-bye.